But I wanted to just circle back for a second and say, that's crazy that you met your husband the first class. And I'm curious, uh, one, did you ever think that, did you ever want to get married? And two, what was dating like for you in like New York City up and into your like backpacking and all that good stuff? Like you're being becoming pretty successful. Most of the time people find uh, like a partner or a mate during then. But it's interesting to me that you met your husband after you came back from backpacking. Yeah. I know I was looking for my person for a long time. Okay. Like I was absolutely like ready. Mm. And really? Yeah. I was choosing, you know, when you don't believe that you're valuable and worthy, you choose partners that don't believe you're valuable and worthy. So, um, you know, that's what I was doing. Essentially, I was definitely like, you know, didn't, didn't, didn't realize it, but yeah, I was like definitely attracting people who didn't respect me. Wow. So, and I think dating in New York is very hard and backpacking is certainly, you know, it's not really where you, some weirdos person out there. you're going to settle down with, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, it was, it was a good timing. It was like perfect timing. Wow. Mm-hmm. And he sounds like, of course, sounds like he matches your entrepreneurial zeal. Oh, he <laughs> doesn't well. match it. He ex- ex- exceeds <laughs> it. He's like way on another level compared to me. Um, so he was he pretty involved with uh, with Founder? Oh, yeah. We founded Prep to Your Door together. Yeah, Prep to Your Door. Oh, yeah. He was the CEO. Um, okay. He's the business mind, right? I was the founder. I only can do what I do now with Offshore Launch because I was – co-leading with him for six years i I learned a lot from him i didn't know anything about leadership y'all really no 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 because to me i'm really good at doing what i know how to do okay that doesn't make you a good leader right another book e-myth have you all read e-myth so good i read the e-visited version okay technician yes manager entrepreneur yes what are you I'm a f-ing technician, dude. <laughs> I'm the f-ing problem. Wow. And that's why I can help businesses now find virtual assistants. That's so cool. Because I'm like, I know. I know what you don't want to let go of. <laughs> I, am, I don't want to let go of that either. I am a terrible technician. Oh, are you? Yes. Are you a manager? I think so. Yeah. You're good with people. I, I peg so. you as a manager. Okay. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. So you're so you so you need to put on your entrepreneur hat, right? So for so, growth. I would say, I would say actually like naturally I'm an entrepreneur. Mm. I really enjoy like the vision. If I could just do the vision part and never have to like talk to a person and get them to be managed ever, I'd be mm. like, this is awesome. Oh, okay. So, so I, I've had, yes, but I've had to like step into the, uh, it's been opposite for me. I mean, most technicians go from, they go, most people go from technician to uh, entrepreneur to manager, kind of like that. I... I went the other way. Like I was like, oh, I know I want to be an entrepreneur. Uh, and so I was like, dang, I got to figure out something that I can even bring value with first. And so I had to kind of become a technician. And then I had to realize that you need more people to scale. So you got to like be a people person. And I, I enjoy people just like you. Uh, and so right now in my current phase, I'm having to be much more the manager and a little bit of the entrepreneur right now. Okay. So I'm, I'm learning to be a good manager in my space right now. For sure. Cool. So, but that's so interesting that you like, that makes so much sense why you're so detailed because you're such a good technician. I'm me. not detailed. I'm not detailed. I'm ambitious. Mm. I have a strong figure it outer yeah. in me. I'm not detailed. Though. Well, you're not detail oriented, mm. but you are detailed. Yeah. I'm like, like, well, because I'm like, I have high standards. Yes. That's yes. what it is. So it's mm. like, I want to do this, but I'm going to, you know, but I'm going to do <laughs> yes. it. There's other people that are like, they do it with so much joy. Mm. That's not me. Wow. I do it with like a chip on my shoulder. Wow. Like I bulldoze. <laughs> so, okay. That makes so much sense now that when you were with Prep to Your Door, you really learned how to basically be, what's what would be technically under, like right under a C- CEO in terms of like the C-suite? Do you know? COO? Okay. Yeah. So it seems like you were in a COO role of like my husband, he's got the vision I'm kind of like learning how to do all the businessy parts in between. Is that true? I think that we were, you know, 
kind of kids in a way with prep to your door. So, you know, he was definitely CEO because he knew how to make decisions and lead period and vision. Um, but in terms of like, like we just had to plug in, like it was a shit show, right? Like food and deliveries and technology. And like, it was like, it's crazy. It was like three different businesses in yeah. one. We were a manufacturer, food manufacturer. We were e-commerce and we were, and we were fulfillment. We were, we were delivery service. It's crazy. So we had three different businesses. And so it was always just like plugging a hole so we don't sink. And so, um, I would not say that like I was the COO. I think we, I think like in certain moments we were co CEOs because I had all the food knowledge, right? Like okay. he didn't have any of that. So he's like you. He's always been vision, but he's like, I don't have a skill. <laughs> so like, and he, and he would say that, like, I'm not saying that, behind, you know, behind his yeah. back. He's like, I have to learn a skill. So his twenties were like, I have to learn a skill. Mm-hmm. Um, those were his twenties, like dedicating, you know, to that. Um, and so his skill that he learned was people management and organization and, pro- you know, leading meetings. And like, yeah. he really, really learned how to do all of that wow. through prep to your door. Um, Me, I had a skill, I had no leadership. And so, but I had all this knowledge about, you know, subject matter expert, if you will. Yes, yeah. Right? So like you probably experienced that with fencing. Mm -hmm. Like there are times where you're like, I don't know anything about this. You have to lean on somebody else for that. Yeah. Maybe not now because you probably know it now, but at certain points. For sure. So those are the moments when you're like, we would like would co-lead. But ultimately he was always, um, you know, the default person in terms of decisions. I have a little like niche question in that is, uh, how do I phrase this? It seems like you didn't mind him being in a leadership role. Like it's interesting to me that you are so comfortable with just letting him lead. And I've noticed that sometimes in our society, women would much rather prefer to have like all the control sometimes. And so being your personality of so ambitious, was that easy for you? You're just like, yeah, let, let them lead. Like, well, do it. N- well, it's not easy for me to let anybody lead. Okay. I'm, I'm a control freak. Okay. <laughs> but he, I chose a partner who was better than me. It's mm. so like when you know what you know, like, you know, it's like, that's a spade. Like, you got to go, you know? Like, so I chose a partner that inspired me. So I trust, like, I trust in his leadership. And he probably doesn't like that pressure sometimes, right? Because that can be lonely. Um, but no, I picked a partner to make me better. But you have the self-awareness to understand that. I think that there's a lot of people that don't have that self-awareness. And so therefore, they... They have a hard time trusting. Yeah, it's like a struggle, you mean? Yes. So it's I think it's only because you had the self-awareness to even say that statement in the first place that unlocked sort of this yeah, working maybe. relationship. And I'm also really I, I think maybe self-awareness or maybe just really hard on myself. Okay. Like, oh, that's a blind spot for me. And and he gets on to me because he's like don't say you're bad at that because I'll say I'm bad at that. Like I'm not detailed, right? Yeah. He's like, don't say that. He's like, it's just, you know, it's like he, he, he's, he's a eternal optimist. So he's like, it's a work in progress. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So I think I just know like, yeah, I guess you could say self-awareness.